tracking updates can be greatly beneficial for helping optimize your fulfillment process, both internally and for your customers. You'll notice that in order to build out the option for real-time tracking updates, you will first need to set up webhooks in your ShipEngine account. Webhooks are a user-defined HTTP callback that's triggered by a special event. With ShipEngine, you can easily create a variety of webhooks as receivers to events that occur throughout the fulfillment process, including data around carrier connections, shipping rates, batch shipments, and most popular among our users, tracking updates. These events can then be mapped to certain behaviors in your own application. For example, automating real-time emails or push notifications to customers whenever the status of their package changes. This demonstration will walk you through how to test a tracking webhook event in ShipEngine so that you can experiment with ways to integrate webhooks into various backend processes. To create the webhook URL for this test, we will be using RequestBin. RequestBin is a great tool for seeing how webhooks work and verifying that you are getting events before investing in development. Once you navigate to their website, you will click the button Create Request Bin. This will generate the endpoint or webhook URL that ShipEngine will use to send you any updates from API calls made using your production key. Once you've copied the webhook URL, navigate back to your ShipEngine dashboard. Click on the API Management tab and then Webhooks. You'll see the option to add a tracking event webhook. Click the Edit button to update. Toggle the status on, paste your webhook URL in the empty form field, and then press Save. A confirmation notification will appear in the top right corner of your screen. Keep in mind that in order for this test to be successful, your carrier accounts must already be connected within your ShipEngine dashboard. So if you haven't already, complete this before moving forward. Once your webhook has been added successfully, you'll launch Postman and load the ShipEngine reference collection. For more information on how to use Postman to test and visualize ShipEngine APIs, please reference our documentation in the link below. In order to test your tracking webhook, you first need a shipping label to track. Using Postman, create a label and be sure to update your preferred carrier ID. These can be found from the Connections tab in your ShipEngine dashboard. Send your request to generate that label. You can see that a successful call was made to the API by scrolling down to find the various label formats that were generated. But still, we have to confirm that the webhook is correctly sending the payloads. When you navigate back to Request Bin, you'll see a spinning wheel on the left side denoting that it's waiting to receive your first request. Eventually, a post notification will appear, which you can click on to retrieve the updated status of your package. Clicking on the Pretty tab makes the data a little more digestible. Under the description line, you can see that this test order has been processed and is ready for UPS pickup. This shows a successful completion of the HTTP callback. And that concludes our demo. If you have additional questions on how to get set up with the tracking webhooks through ShipEngine, we encourage you to head to our website to contact our support team.